Sure, the costumes are fun, but when you get right down to it, Halloween is really about the candy. If you have any doubts, just try taking candy from a child or take in this story from Luke Burbank. We ate all your Halloween candy. Okay, this is just a Halloween prank. Oh, Daddy! On the Jimmy Kimmel Show. But if you're one of those parents who likes to dip into your kid's Halloween stash, chances are that candy was made in Oak Park, Illinois, at the Mars Wrigley Candy Factory. Actually, candy is pretty healthy for you, believe it or not. <laughs> really? Wayne Pesavent is clearly not a doctor. But he is the fourth generation of his family to work here at this Mars factory, which is about to turn 90 years old. 28 years of service, and you look back at what you did. I didn't expect her to probably be here that long, but I am here, and I enjoyed everything that goes on. I mean, if you think about the five principles of Mars. I don't want to put you on the spot, but what are the five principles? Are you able to... Quality, mutuality, responsibility, freedom. Brush your teeth. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the fifth one. Efficiency. Principles set down by Franklin C. Mars, the company's founder. It all started back in 1911, with Mars selling hand-dipped chocolates made in his kitchen in Tacoma, Washington. But the business didn't boom until 1923, when Mars invented the Milky Way bar. Then came Snickers, and M&M's, and the rest, as they say, is candy history. Best chocolate candies under the sun. More than a century later, the company is still owned entirely by the Mars family, who are as notoriously secretive as they are successful. Mars is one of the largest privately held companies in the world, with a reported $35 billion in sales each year. Put this over your hair All right. and do your best to cover cover your ears as well. Okay. Is that for ear hair? You, well, you never know. Okay. After an intensive suiting up process, I'm ready to stop talking about candy and start seeing it up close and personal, which is where Amy Vedmore, the factory's site director, comes in. Now, I also understand that this is really kind of Halloween central. Yes. So we make... About 99% of the Snickers fun size. We make Milky Way and Three Musketeers fun size as well. In all, millions of tiny candy bars come out of this facility each day, as well as some regular size ones, which, after being made, need to be packed and shipped. And I was ready to help. <laughs> Is it going faster? Yes. <laughs> Yikes. Of course, how you package the chocolate doesn't mean much if it doesn't taste right. So my name is Lindsay Garfield, and my job is the principal sensory technologist. In other words, her job is okay. to eat candy. We say the perfect Snickers is the same Snickers that the first Snickers tasted like. That Mr. Mars presumably like invented. The perfect Snickers. And does anyone know what that one tasted like? It tastes just like the Snickers today. <laughs> Are you a robot? <laughs> no. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not great at packing the candy. Oh. But tasting it, I figured anybody could do that. OK, so we're tasting this cocoa butter because it's one of the building blocks of a Milky Way, essentially, right? Yeah, so with cocoa butter, you're going to want to slurp it. So eat, pretend like you're the rudest person in the world. Not hard for me. OK. <laughs> mm. Chocolate should be your number one thing you should get. And okay. then just that um, oily mouthfeel. OK, I'm getting both of those things. OK, good. So this was a success. This was a success. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, that was fun, and yet it's possible that no one has more fun at this factory than Willa Mae Brown. I'm proud of what I do. I love making candy. And when she's not making it, she's giving it away. How much does each person get or each kid get? Oh, they get a lot. Really? Yeah, we give them gogs of candy. Known as the Queen of Halloween, Brown volunteers to organize the annual Halloween event, which draws thousands of candy lovers to the factory each year. Now, is there an age cutoff for this? Like, do you have to be a kid? No. Would it's you say it's more kids or adults? More adults, believe it or not. Oh, we can believe it. I wanted to try Skittles! <laughs> See you ever again. <laughs> go 
get a job. <laughs>